If you do not have a home computer, right? If you don't have a home computer and you, all you have is your Chromebook, this is how you're going to access Photoshop um, while we are away, okay? So I'm on the, the Leiden webpage. I'm gonna go to that little search bar right here and I'm gonna put in Ericom, E-R-I-C-O-M. This is on your Chromebook that you're doing this and I'm gonna hit enter. Once you get click on that, you're gonna see the second option here says access portal. So I'm gonna click on that access portal and that's gonna bring me to um, the air accounts, like kind of like a remote access. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my lighting credentials, the same thing that you would enter when you were sitting in class, right? To connect to the computers, right? Connecting to the network. And you'll see that in the top left corner here, it says Adobe Creative Suite. So I'm gonna go down to Photoshop and click on that and um, opening now on your Chromebook would be this version of Photoshop. It is an older version of Photoshop. It's going to look different, but a lot of the things are still the same. Um, here's my file menu, right? I can create a new document. Um, your standard that we've been using in class is US paper. Um, you can give it a name here. You can go ahead and hit OK. There's my document. Here are my tools. Here are my layers. Here's your modes. Um, here's your effects, the layer effects. A lot of the same things are here. Um, so e even if you might be watching a tutorial of mine for the next project and it's like a little bit more advanced know that you know it's a lot of the same things are true if there's a little arrowhead there's tools that are hidden underneath and um, the layers all those things still work the same some of the things might be slightly different but for the most part it's the same now the only thing that I noticed let me put a little something on here so we can the only thing I know is it's a little bit hard to save so if I go ahead and hit save Oh, it gave me, so it gave me the save. Okay, great. So in order to save these, right, to save something that you've worked on, because you could save and you can work on it again, but your Chromebook does not have a desktop, right? My Chrome, my computer, I'm working on a computer, does have a desktop. So I'm gonna go all the way down to network because you are in this Ericom. So that means that if I scrolled all the way down, or maybe not, let me try something else. Is it in here? There it is. I'm sorry. If you go to this PC, right, and you scroll all the way down, look at that. Here's um distribution. Here's Dropbox. And I have staff home, which means that you would have your personal drive there as well. So you can save your work right there into that personal drive. That's all the stuff that's on my, you know, my, if this, if I had a drive that looked like yours, you know, AN12345, this would be my drive. Here's all my stuff. I give it a name and you can, in it, you can access it all the same way. So this way too, we can still use the Dropbox to put completed projects when they're done. So I'm just going to call this practice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And there we go. So it's there. So you, you do have to access, you have to go into Aircom each time you want to go to work in Photoshop. But um, know that it's the same and know that you can use it on your Chromebook. Okay, so please message me if you have any problems. Um, go back and forth till you can get this done. And when you have accessed it, please go to Schoology and find the form that tells me that you were able to access this and use this on your home computers. Okay, thank you so much and talk to you soon.